Have you ever wanted to experience elementary school all over again? Well, I don't know why you would want to do that, but apparently, oh my gosh, this leaf is just in my way in the middle of my intro. Jesus Christ. I don't know why you would want to do that, but the Sims community really, really wants an elementary school pack. So you know what? I made it for you. So welcome to Sim City University. It's a very uh, university. Jesus Christ. Elementary school. Let's not put too much faith in these children. I made this elementary school. It's very nice and it's very 110% functional. Look at this. We'll go in it in a second. I want to introduce to you the class of what... Here is it, 2021? When are you guys graduating? Anyway, the first child that we have is uh, Janine. Uh, we we all hate her. She's a despicable, disgusting child. I want nothing to do with her. Bye-bye. The next child we have is me. I didn't dress myself. I'll let you know that. I was very much dressed like this all the time. As a kid, I was the nerdy kid that nobody wanted to include me. Look, I waved at her and she waved at somebody else. It's just, it's begun all over again. Uh, the next student we have is the school bully. Uh, he bullies everybody and nobody likes him, but he also gets away with it every single goddamn time and I have no idea why. Next we have the popular girl. She's really smart. She's really sweet. Look at her. Like, she's got like the trendy stuff. Look at her shoes. In elementary school, shoes were like a class system. If you had the coolest shoes, you were the coolest kid. And you know what? She got lucky to go to TJ Maxx and get some really nice shoes. Uh, who do we have next? We have the rich kid. I don't know why she's here because this is public school and I don't know why her parents decided to take her here. I mean, look at this. She's wearing gold earrings. It doesn't even match with their silver tiara. Rich people have no taste. Let's just be honest. And then next we have the twins. We have twin one over here. It's just him and his twin brother. That's it. That's the personality trait. And last we have Mrs. Crotch Rot. She is the elementary school teacher. Oh, she's getting yelled at by the school bully and she is terrified. Well, welcome to your first day at work, honey. So I'm gonna unlock the door now and we're gonna go through all of our classes together and we'll just you know, try and educate these children as much as as much as they're able to be educated. I don't know how much we're gonna get through the to Janine, but uh, we can try. We can definitely try. So I'll unlock the door now. The first class we're gonna go to is emotional control class because children are just oversized babies. So Mrs. Crotchrot, can you please lead everybody into the classroom? We're gonna have to do it one at a time. Also, it's very windy behind me in real life. I know I sound like a disembodied voice. I am not. I'm an actual person in my life living room and it's very windy right now. All right, Mrs. Crotchrod, get everybody in there. We've also got a Roomba. Um, we'll, we'll deal with that later. It's a very small school, but you know what? Every school is understaffed, so who cares? Let's just start writing in our journals. Come on, guys. All right, now in this class, you're gonna learn how to journal your feelings so that popular girl, can you please sit down? Um, Mrs. Crotchrod, you have to, you have to stay over here, honey. You have to teach the children. So you have to write down your feelings. What are you feeling right now? I promise Mrs. Crotchrod will not not read it while you're in the room. She will read it somewhere else. You know, this we're teaching you guys that privacy does not matter to children. Your emotions have to be present all the time. And also, you're always supposed to be happy because you're children. This is the best part of your life and you have to appreciate it. Also, the, these journals are being sent to the district intendant. So uh, don't write anything bad about Mrs. Crotchrod or else we're gonna have to scratch it out, okay? You won't get these journals back either. So, you know, I hope you'll learn something valuable here today. And look at them. Look an entire class of children just working. Oh, it's so great. You guys are going to be ready for the cubicles at any moment now. You know, the system will very much enjoy having you here. Oh, look, the twins have already fit. Mrs. Crotchrot. Oh, that's right. We have a class pet. I don't know what it is. What is it? What what animal do we have in here? I can't actually see. Whiskers, so it must be, it must be a ra Oh, there it is. It was running in circles. That should be healthy. We're going to name him. No, not Whiskers. This is a class pet one. You know, just in case we have to replace them, it'll be easy. Oh, okay, all the children are almost done. Rich girl, where are you going? No, 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 you can't go to that class. Sit down, you can't do what you- Oh my god, the children are unhinged. We're gonna go into art class now. Alright, the children have already found their way in here. Oh my god, they're going- they're running amok. Okay, me- I'm- I'm already- okay, listen, listen, here we go. We have to pause now. I am overwhelmed. I mean, Mrs. Crotchraw is overwhelmed. Why don't you all just sit there and draw some things, you know? Use the arts and crafts. Crafts! We'll, we'll also play some music at the same time. Come on in, kiddos. Is everybody accounted for? Oh, 
Oh god, I didn't actually think this through. This is awful. How can you children concentrate with that in the background? Why are all the children tense? What do you mean you don't like the music? The only kid who's happy right now is the school bully, and that's because he was recently mean to somebody. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Why is he yelling all the time? Just stop complaining for like two seconds, please. You should be enjoying this. We are learning. We are making beautiful things. Look, they're drawing the same thing because they're twins. That wasn't even planned. Don't you guys want to develop some sort of personality? Why are you upset? Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? What happened? What is there to be upset about? You are in class, you are in school, you are surrounded by people that you are stuck with for the rest of the year, regardless of whether you like them or not. I don't understand why you're complaining. Your twin brother's doing a good job. We're, we're missing a student. Uh, which twin is this? Is this twin number two? Where have you gone? Twin number two? Oh my god, he's- he just- he just stole somebody's journal. I don't think you're allowed to do- Whose journal did you steal? Oh gosh, we can't- she can't start yelling at the students because then we'll get into a lot of legal trouble. So you know what, Mrs. Crotchrat, why don't you take a breather in here? Come on, let's just ignore the children, let them do what they want. Don't audibly show it. Jesus Christ, and you know what, just let it out. I know, I know. Just let out all the bad words. What's your aspiration? You actually want children? Are you are you sure, Mrs. Crotchrot? Are you sure after all of this already? I mean, the day's not even fucking started. All right, children, that's enough creativity for one day. All right, stop. Stop. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Crotchrot is going to take an angry shit. Have fun. Where am I going? Uh, me. I'm leaving school. I have decided that school is not for me and I am just gonna go somewhere else now. And Mrs. Crotchrot Crotchrot isn't here to take care of that because she's just trying to take a shit. All those children are running amok. What am I doing? Oh, I'm watching them from the outside? Is that what I'm doing? You fucking freak. Oh, no. I am vandalizing. I have discovered vandalism and I am vandalism skill number one. I mean, it's artsy, though. I'm literally taking what I learned in here. They're all, like, starting fights. Look at him. He's got his fists clenched. What the fuck is happening? Hello, Mrs. Crotchrot. Have you noticed that some of your students are missing? This has gone too far. This has gone too far for too long. We're gonna have a class assembly now. Mrs. Crotchrot, you're you're gonna go give a speech and everybody has to come and sit down and watch the speech. There is no- you all have to pay attention to what has just happened because you're all awful children. Alright children, it's assembly time. Look, Mrs. you've pissed off Mrs. Crotchrot. You've broken her. Alright, sit down and listen. That includes you, Mrs. Vandalism. Where did I go? We have more children leaving. Mrs. Crotchrot is still upset. You know what? You guys wanna- you guys wanna do this now? Seriously now? I think because the kids are hungry. Similar to the retirement home, I forgot to put in a fucking kitchen. So, we're just gonna have to not feed the children. I'm not even gonna order any pizza. It's literally not my problem. Uh, Mrs. Speech didn't inspire anybody. Okay, Mrs. Crotchrot is already put herself in this room. What's up, Mrs. Crotchrot? You okay? She's sad. She's just, she's in here to take a breather. I mean, you've not really taught them anything. Look, the rich kid is cleaning for some reason. That's not, you know, that goes against the lore. Okay, we're just gonna go to science class next. Everybody, please come in into this this room now you're all gonna start doing experiments on each other they don't have to necessarily be safe because most most experiments are not fda approved it's so nice to see young minds at work look at this nobody light anything on fire please i hopefully these are just play-doh i didn't actually is that a bunsen burner i didn't actually think we were um allowing children to use actual utensils and sciencey things janine don't even fucking start with me i don't like that. I, I thought that we were giving them fake Play-Doh experiments to make them feel like they're learning something when they're literally not. Mrs. Crotchrot, considering you're very upset, why don't you go into this room away from the students? We'll totally trust them with all this fire and stuff and chemicals and whatnot and Clorox. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, call a sadness hotline. See if we can cheer you up a little bit. I, you know, and there's no shame. There's no shame at all. Alright, come back in, Mrs. Crotchrot. Look, she feels so much better now. Twin number two? Fuck you, chill. Oh! Where? 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 Who? Who? Oh, oh my fucking god. Popular girls ruined it for everybody. Good thing that we had the school budget for a fire- Don't run into the fire! Okay, good thing we had a, a fire extinguisher in the budget. I mean, they understood fire safety. You know, fire prevention program really, really worked for these guys. You know, let's just call it recess now, guys, and recover from what you just witnessed. Everybody is collectively going to take a poo. When I grow up, I want to be famous. I want to be a star. I want to be in the movies when I grow up. Finally, the school budget has managed to have gender-neutral bathrooms now, which is really, really nice. They didn't have the budget 
to remove the very obvious gender coding bathrooms. You know, it's the thought that counts. It may still feel very um gender oriented, but it's fine. Look at this. They'll they'll paint it eventually. They'll probably make this one pink and this one blue. That will help, right? Okay, it's recess, kiddos. You can all just like do stuff. Wow, look at look at this lovely playground. These kids are so lucky. They have a total of two swings and monkey bars. And and last year we got some extra funding. We got three benches. A balanced meal. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. If you do, kids may tease you. Let's care more about what other people think than what is actually good for you. So let's just do that. There we go. Can I stop vandalizing? Mrs. Crotra, can you please put me in my place? Do this on a government building, not on a school. Jesus Christ, nobody's gonna see it anyway. Okay, uh, let's just go back to class now. The next class we're gonna have is storytelling class, so let's just bring everybody in here. Mrs. Crotrot is going to volunteer a student. That's right, students get don't get to choose for themselves. They have to be forced by an adult to tell a puppet show. And you know what? I forced Janine because I don't like her. Oh my gosh, look at this. Nice job, Janine. Is this education? Oh, they like it. They're clapping at the same time because they're twins. That is actually amazing. But they don't, they don't look like they're enjoying themselves. They're both having a really rough day today. And we also don't have enough seats for everybody, but that's fine. Uh, Mrs. Crotchera, you're kind of, you're kind of in twin number two's way. She doesn't care. She, you know, she's the one grading this assignment. Oh, Janine, you forgot your fucking puppet, you dumbass. Can I actually see Janine in here? Is this gonna be terrifying? Hello? Janine? Janine, this is not, this, <laughs> this is actually very terrifying. Janine, whoa. Janine, what is that? Janine! But it's okay because after this class is arguably the best class and I wish I had this class because uh, back when I was in elementary school, you know what was the most popular thing at the time? Pokemon. Everybody fucking loved Pokemon and Pokemon cards were fucking currency and I know that they are now. And you know what? Everybody was playing Pokemon. Everybody had it on their Game Boys. Yeah, I'm that old. Oh my goodness and then we had it on our DS's and everybody was playing it. They had to ban it at my school because it was apparently violent. So here we have the equivalent, which is Void Critter class where children just fucking battle each other. First, we have to buy Void Critter packs and I have to buy that for everybody. So please excuse me while I do this. How do I purchase things? Where do I buy Void Critter packs? No, Mrs. Mrs. Crotchrat, we have to buy school supplies right now. This was a temporary low we don't actually get to keep. We don't get to keep this. Okay, we have ordered a bunch of packs. Uh, there's 15 of them. And we have seven students. We're gonna distribute them evenly. So Janine, you get one. Twin number two, okay. I get one. Twin number one gets one. The bully gets one. Popular girl gets one. And we have nine left. So we're just gonna give all of them to the rich girl. Class is important. And school reiterates the fact that class is important. So if she wins, unfairly it's not unfair because she's richer than everybody else Janine why is your why is your journal uh, a, a death note I got a common Yorier it's a fire type though so you know what I agree okay so we have a bunch of void critters now so we're gonna have the bully battle me because I was always battling bullies the twins are gonna battle each other Janine is gonna battle the rich girl and the popular girl doesn't get to play look at this okay Cue the fucking Pokemon music. Oh, that's a toilet. All right, look at this. This is fucking intense. Look, she's already got like the best fucking void critter because she got like nine booster packs. Teaching children violence is definitely the way to go. I have my fire type here, so hopefully I can demolish this dumbass looking fucking... What is that? Is that a flower? Is that some mochi? I don't understand. Yeah, you fucking get it, girl. The twins, a fire type versus what seems to be either a water type or another suspicious liquid. And Janine is just gonna get her ass because she's got that fucking dumb looking Gucci Kobe looking asshole over there. Are you winning? What is happening? This is so intense. Oh my god. Let's get some awesome swooping shots. Whoa. Whoa. I look like I'm having so much fun. I'm also missing my two front teeth because that happened to me for a while. They just, they took the longest to grow back too. It was really disappointing. Fucking kick his ass, fake gamer girl. Baby gamer girl. How is this battle with Janine still going? She literally has a fucking lava god on her side. Like this is a fucking like what? Lucar ass legend. Oh, oh shit. She fucking, yeah, yeah, you got decimated. How are you guys doing? What the, what just happened? Did you lose? Oh, I don't know who won. You're not actually gonna tell me who won? Okay, well, it's down to these two now. The ultimate deciding round. E everybody's bored. Some people have to pee.
happy and they're all just gonna go home. I, this guy's this is like Janine is still like holding her ground somehow. And you're not fascinated by this at all? Oh damn, yeah, Janine got her fucking ass handed to her. That's what you deserve. Well, all the children are starving now. One of them has found his way onto the staff computer. Of course it's the fucking bully. Where's Mrs. Crotchrot? She's just asleep. I'm actually cleaning up now. I've learned a lesson. Look, children can actually learn from school. Look, I learned my lesson and I am cleaning up after all the vandalism that I did. Elementary school went pretty well. Uh, we had a fire and that was that was good because we taught the children fire safety. We had music, which taught me how to vandalize. We got to write about our feelings and we all discovered that we're all very unhappy going to school, but it also ultimately doesn't matter because it's not our choice. And then we had a finger puppet show where we found out that Janine um, needs medical attention. We completely neglected our class pet one. We didn't actually pay attention to class pet one and they are surprisingly alive. That was very good. Did we have any other classes? Oh yes, and then we played Pokemon. We found out that the more money you have, the more pri privilege you have and that there's nothing that can change that and that the rich people are gonna win every time and also we have bathrooms. Well, I hope you enjoyed this pack. It's definitely gonna be better than anything that the Sims team decides to whip up if they ever decide to do this, which they probably won't and even if they did, you know, we'll probably regret purchasing it. So, um, yeah, I'm never doing this again. Thank <music> you.